Who's excited to derive the Pythagorean theorem? That's exactly what we're doing today. Here's what you'll need. Some paper and some snipping tools. These ones are available on Microsoft Windows, but we're not gonna use the virtual ones. We're gonna use real old fashioned snipping tools like scissors. They come in all different shapes and sizes. We don't want to use scissors. We have these snippers. Or you can use shears, trimmers, clippers. And let's get ready to start. This problem dates back thousands of years in which we have a right triangle and we know the sides A and B and we're trying to find length C. Here's what we do. We take our paper and our trimmers or clippers and we cut it so that it fits perfectly just like that. Just like a glove. Beautiful. We need eight of these. So when you're, when you're cutting, remember eight. And I'll say cut it out, cut it out, cut that triangle out. Cut those out. Okay. Once we have our eight, we'll make it into a square like this. This is our first four triangles. Now for the next four triangles, we arrange them slightly differently. I'm going to put it like this. first two and then for the next two we'll put them like that now time for some geometry these are all right angles this angle and this angle add up to 90 degrees which means that this one and this one add up to 90, which leaves us with this one being 90 degrees. That same principle can be applied across the whole shape. This is a square. These lengths here, the short side we'll call it A, the long side B. B, A, this long one, it's called C. Another term for this is the hypotenuse. What will we do to this side now? This is A, this is B, this is an A, an A, and we can fill out this shape. This, as you'll notice, is a square with sides A. A times A, so this is A squared. This, we can fill it out as well. This is B, B, B squared. If you want to, you can cut out the shapes and paste them. This is cut and paste without even using a computer. Now this, C times C, this is C squared. I can paste it right there. Now let's compare these squares. What are the dimensions? The height, as you'll see, is A plus B. And the width is A plus B. Now on this one, we have an A, we have a B, an A, and a B. You'll notice they have the same dimensions. A plus B times A plus B. These squares have the same area. 
So we'll put an equal sign right here. These, this square equals that square. They are the same. Now it's time for an operation. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. We'll remove each triangle one at a time from each side. Our first one. One, two, three, four. And what do we know? We have C squared equals A squared plus B squared. This is the Pythagorean theorem and we've proved it. Congratulations. Now, to complete the theorem, we can take our triangle, put it right here, we'll label it with a right angle. We'll take this A squared, and tack it up here, this B squared, and put it right here. This is the Pythagorean Theorem. Congratulations, you've proved it.